Hello everybody and welcome to LLB Society and to my YouTube channel as LLB Society. This time I'm going to narrate a short fairy tale to you. Hope you'll find it. Uh, this time the title or the name of this fairy tale is the, uh, the Serpent and the Eagle. The Serpent and the Eagle. Serpent means snake. And uh, this story, I should acknowledge the source, has been adopted from Gutenberg Project. And this story falls into the public domain. It means everybody can use it. Uh, and this story has been uh, told or written by Aesop dating back 2,600 years ago. Uh, and Aesop was, an, uh, was a Greek storyteller. A raconteur. Okay, so let me narrate this story. A serpent and an eagle were struggling with each other in deadly conflict. There are flashcards at the LLB Society, if you don't know, there are over 2,500 flashcards, and these are just three of them. Serpent, as I said, uh, means a snake. And an eagle were struggling or fighting with each other in a deadly or lethal conflict or fight. So they were fighting. And the fight was so intense. The serpent had the advantage and was about to strangle the bird. Strangle means to kill someone by choking. So the serpent was a dominant in the fight and was about to kill the eagle by strangling him uh, okay and the countryman saw them and running up loosed the coil of the serpent and let the eagle go free let me uh, teach you or explain some vocabulary to you before just explaining it Running up loosed means released and exempt, set free. The coil. A coil means a ring or loop. It refers to the form of the serpent or snake. So uh, a countryman saw them and came to the assistance of the eagle and released the eagle from the coil or rings of the snake and let the eagle go free set him free okay the serpent irritated at the escape of his prey irritated means angry and furious enraged at the escape of his prey prey refers to the eagle here it means victim so the serpent became so furious and uh, wanted to take revenge. Therefore, he injected his poison into the drinking horn of the countryman. So, in order to retaliate or take some revenge, take a uh, take an event, take a revenge, uh, he injected uh, or projected some poison or venom into the drinking horn of the countryman okay glass something like glass in the past uh, some people particularly countrymen used to drink from drinking horn okay and so the countryman was about to drink some poisonous water and the rustic it refers to the countryman ignorant of his danger was about to drink when the eagle struck his hand with his wing and seizing the drinking horn in his talons carried it aloft the the format is rather literary as you can see but uh, i hope with my explanation it will be easier for you so the rustic the countryman ignorant means not knowing of his danger i mean the poisonous uh, water was about to drink okay was about to drink the poisonous water when the eagle struck 
the past tense of a strike. His hand means hit. Hit his hand with his wing. And seizing means uh, just grabbing. Grabbing the drinking horn in his talon. Talon means claw. C-L-A-W. Uh, and, you know, an eagle has very robust and strong or tenacious talons. Carried it aloft. Aloft means in the in the way. It means uh, the, the eagle, in order to just uh, compensate for the favor of the countryman uh, and save his life, just took away the poisonous water in the drinking horn. And the idiom or proverb is that, uh, or linked to this story, is one good turn deserves another. And also you can say, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Do me a favor and I will do you a favor in, in return. Okay. Uh, it means it, it, it is used to say that a person should do something nice for someone who has done something nice for him or her. The source of the definition, I mean, the definition of this uh, idiom is from Merriam Webster Dictionary. Now, English vocabulary and expressions. Number one, serpent, snake. Two, struggle. To fight, tussle, brawl. At LLB Society, you, you can just study these illustrated flashcards if you just place the cursor of your mouse on them. Three, to strangle, to kill someone by choking. Four, to lose, set free, release. Five, coil, a series of circular rings and loops. Six, Irritated, angry, furious, enraged. 7. Prey, victim. Quarry, also quarry. Uh, 8. Drinking horn, a container like an animal's horn used to drink, used to drink from in the past. Talon, claw. 10. Aloft, in the air in flight and some specifications of this uh, short fairy tale uh, this falls into the category of learn English with short stories over 60 short stories and fairy tales from Aesop's fables coil eagle uh, this is suitable for intermediate English learners karma the concept that is used in this uh, lesson one good turn deserves another serpent you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours and some related lessons the story of the fox and the goat the story of the fighting cocks and the eagle the story of mercury and the workman and also, uh, you can leave your questions in the comment form. If you have any question or if you have some opinions or... Uh, and also, you can expect to receive feedback immediately. Uh, let me show you the category of Learn English with Short, short Stories. Or, as I said, over 60 uh, short stories to be specific, 60, 62 and uh, that's it okay uh, i really hope you enjoyed this short fairy tale and uh, yeah you can also if you're interested to improve your english you can attend our online classes or actually become a registered member to access over uh 3300 uh, nearly 3400 lessons with illustrated flashcards common common forms and uh, also podcasts and you can try that free remember our membership uh, is on free trial okay thank you very much for your attention take care of yourself and see you soon bye bye